G'day and welcome to the fourth episode in our eight-part Go Make Some Memories Convoy for Charity. Now our great mates at GNS Chassis have asked us to hook up eight of the best of the best caravans and explore the Sapphire Coast. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now unfortunately today my mate Macca couldn't be here, but I'm pretty wrapped with his replacement, Mr Dave Prowse. And along the way we'll be raising funds for the Cure Brain Cancer Foundation, so... Why don't you come with us as we show you... What's, What's up, up Down Under? Under? It's time to see this land, this land of wonder. It's time to go and see what's up down under. What's up down under? Well, we kicked off our Go Make Some Memories convoy for charity in Marimbula and then made our way to Tathra, which is where we'll be leaving from in today's episode and heading to Bermagui for the next stop on our journey. Later on, we'll be moving further up the coast to Batemans Bay, Jervis Bay, and then finally, we'll end up in Kiama. But of course, not without the help of our incredible convoy. The Dyson family from Caravanning with Kids are back for this year's Convoy for Charity in the JB Caravans Marlin. Joining us from May West Caravans is Peter and Charlene May towing the incredible Nova Caravans Vita. First time convoyers David and Shelley Ridgely are in the comfy Excalibur from Crusader Caravans. Convoy for Charity experts Fireman Ron and Di Sinclair are staying in the extraordinary Lotus Caravans Freelander. Bush poet Dave Proust and wife Therese are taking things to a new level in the Next Gen Caravan's next level. Bruce and Mug from Baby Boomers on the Road are making the Paramount Caravan's Commander their home away from home. And joining us for their first Convoy for Charity, Al and Dee from Discovering the Best You are breaking ground in the Avita Rock. And of course, leading the troops, we have the Go Make Some Memories van for this year's Convoy for Charity. As mentioned earlier, today we're packing up camp in Tathra and moving the convoy along to Bermagui. Today we're letting the boss do the work. A bit of, um, bit of extra tuition will be going a long way. The drive between Tathra and Bermagui was absolutely beautiful. Every corner was just a beautiful paddock or a gorgeous little lake or river. We arrived at Ingenia Holiday's Ocean Lake Park and while the convoyers got settled in, I found out some more information about our digs for the duration of our stay. 